Hi, my name is Handin Cheese, and you may be wondering, what is this video about? Well, I'll tell you, this video is about Elden Ring, and Elden Ring is, you know, the easy game. It's just a game that's made for babies and is really easy to me. So, no, I don't get mad at Elden Ring. I just... Pizza. I just like it whenever Elden Ring is just... Now, don't quote me on this. I like it whenever Elden Ring is as hard as possible. And it's really hard. <laughs> just kidding. Elden Ring is easy. It's very, very easy. Yes, I mean it's easy. Now, let's get on to the tutorial. So, for the holidays, your parents may have bought you Elden Ring, but personally, I bought myself Elden Ring. And whenever you buy yourself Elden Ring, don't quote me on this, you're entitled to the Elden Lord. And I became Elden Lord really, really fast, because the game's really freaking easy. Now, when you find yourself at home doing nothing but smacking down on pizza, you may be thinking to yourself, what freaking hidden items are in Elden Ring? Is there a hammer with big hitting? Um, is there a sword with big hitting? Is there a horse with big hitting? The answer to your question is yes. Yes, there is. You just have to find it. And in this tutorial, I'm just going through all the basics of all the stuff that you have to um, just you know, really get by the uh, the basics of the basics in this uh, this uh, this crypt. And at, at about at this point, you're probably thinking, um. What do I do about these two guys in front of me? Nothing. You just go on to the next guys and then fight them. You can really find them easy to cheese whenever you use the sword that I used. Um, and you, it's just really, really hard to find. It's really rare. Not very many people have it. And then this is just how you cheese this map. You make sure you hit those guys a couple times. And if you don't, it just won't be cheesedable. Um, yeah, and that's how you that's how you get to the uh, last guy. He's really, really, really easy to kill. First, you gotta you, he does a little bit of damage, not very much. You just want to kind of you know keep him from hitting you all very much. If you just use this sword, you can cheese him just real easy like this. Okay, and that's how you get that damage buff. And for the next boss, it's really going to be useful and you really want to just use the damage buff whenever you need it. Oh my god. Ah! Who is it? Who is it? Eat your stinking nightmare. Prepare to die. Oh, you're not gonna kill me. You're not going to kill me. Ha! Got you, scoundrel! Now, you may be wondering what this is. This is the scary, creepy old man tomb. And uh, the main reason that this is here is for the game to provide you some kind of enemy that's almost impossible to get past and so he's going to be right up there and that bridge is just going to raise up just like that and you pretty much just got to run across it straight at him try going to beeline and then all of a sudden it, there he is it,
Elden Ring. <laughs>